Hey everyone, today I have a quick gameplay video of Sonic Generations. The demo was released on the PSN and Xbox Live Marketplace. Uh, you can get it, it lasts for 20 days um, upon the release date, which was yesterday, Thursday the 23rd. You have only 20 days to actually play the demo. Um, I noticed the demo said number one, so maybe there will be a uh, number two uh, released later on. And uh, from the get-go, this game is very nice to play. It's fun, it's easy, and uh, it's not too complicated. Uh, and this run is my second run in the entire uh, time I've had the demo. And I was just uh, testing out some stuff, just exploring a little bit and trying some stuff. Graphically, this game is amazing. Uh, they put a lot of detail to the background and to the foreground as well. It's really nice to see the Green Hill Zone in such lush color. The sounds are pretty... Um, nostalgic, if you may. Uh, it's really nice to hear all those old sounds. They sound exactly the way they do in the old games, except uh, I guess with our better instruments. And, no, that's a setup right there. I fell directly on top of him. That is not fair. And I'm only uh, probably a day away from uh, beating Black Chaos in the post in this video, but you got it before me. And the difference is minus commentary. Now, while playing this demo uh, the second time, I figured uh, I should take my time and just uh, look around to see if I find anything uh, worth, you know, worth noting. Um, aside from the better physics than uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 4, this game is just much better. And the only thing I've noticed is that, that he likes to run in mid-air a lot. I don't remember him in mid-air a lot like that all the time in the old games. And then this part here, I'm trying to get that spring so I can see what's up there. I do not get this spring. I tried several times and I realized that the thing is not coming back to me. So I just keep it. That's right, watch my uh, failing efforts. Look at that, I'm running full speed, yet I can't get around to get that. I think here I just give up. Yeah, I just gave up right there. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that in the demo number 2 you get to play as the modern Sonic. So, uh, even though I like Sonic Colors and uh, I used the gameplay of Sonic Colors, um, I just want to see uh, how the gameplay is changed, if they have changed anything at all. And while I was playing uh, the classic mode, I had this odd habit of pressing down the X, which was modern Sonic's, um, it's, it's like, us bouncing it, well, it was bounced, now it's just him stopping on the ground. I'm used to doing that in most of the Sonic games nowadays, so it's strange going back to these simple, very fun gameplay mechanics of just jump and spin dash. Another odd thing I, uh, that I noticed is uh, if you check the controller, um, controller keys in the options menu, it says that he has three buttons. X is jump, square is spin dash, which you can hold the chart to make more faster, and circle is a duck. That was really fast, wow. I want to rewind and play that scene again, because after I got that power up, I just zoomed past the stage.